The first thing you want to do is, when Liam gives me a jab, is I want to throw this across over his shoulder and try and tap him in the book, like. I'm not trying to hit him hard. All I'm trying to do is to check that that shoulder's up. If the shoulder wasn't up, but he gets hit in the jaw, right? So when you do your jab, tuck your chin down, shoulder up, and make sure it stays up and do good back. Same on the cross, when he throws the cross, and just try and tap him with the other pads on the other shoulder, just to make sure that's up. Second thing is, um, you don't move your feet much, so that you just start it, so I understand that. So the first thing I want to do is be a Terminator. Seen the original Terminator film with Arnie? Yes, I'm yeah. sure. <laughs> <laughs> so the Terminator just walks out here and keeps walking at you. So if we're doing jabs and crosses, then goes with a jab, I check his shoulder, he gives me a jab cross, I check his shoulder, he gives me a cross, I check his shoulder, I cross my hand, I put my hands on my chair, so that means don't punch me, and I just walk towards him. And he's got to get out of my way, so he circles. I guess with a jab. And at any time I can just walk towards him and it's his job <laughs> to get out of the way. Either by sidestepping or pivoting. One sit. And I just walk towards him. The reason why I put the pads on my chest is that's the position of please don't punch me in the face. If I walk towards him with the pads up, it's likely he's going to try and punch the pads and then just get hit in the head of the way. And then go home and be alright. So pads on the chest means please don't punch me. He does nothing other than get out of my way. So get with a jab, check his guard. Go with jab, check with guard. Notice I'm only feeding one pad at the time, I'm not giving him choice, unless I want to give him a one, two. Then he's got choice. Single pad, walk towards him, he's got to go. So, let him move him out, one, two. We're both going to step out with our left foot. The idea of stepping out with your left foot is you take your head off line and you bend your knees. Your right hand goes high, because that's going to defend against any punches on foot. The right foot comes behind your left foot, go jab cross. When you step out with your left, your left hand goes high, because you're defending. Pivot, or falling over. So from the beginning, jab cross, she moves forward, jab cross, she moves back, jab cross, she moves to her right, jab cross, she moves to her left, jab cross. We both step by left foot, our right hand is up, pivot 90 degrees, jab cross. Both step by left, pivot 90 degrees, Okay? The pivot is designed, if it means in front of me, to get me to the side of her quickly so I can start straight into the side of the cross. If she's directly in front of me, she has two hands that she's boxing. If she's doing a uh, kickboxing, she has two hands, two feet. If she's doing Muay Thai, she has two hands, two elbows, two knees, and two feet to hit me with if I'm here. But if I can get to here, now she only has one hand and one foot. And all that side of her body is useless, essentially, until she turns. So you want to get to the side of people, and you do that by pivoting on them. Make sure. Stop. Here we go. One, two. Forward. Back. To her right. To her left. Step offline, bend your knees, right hand up, pivot, jab cross. Step offline, bend your knees, left hand up. Off you go! Line system. Ten numbers in my numbering system. One is a jab, two is a cross, three is a hook, four is an overhand, five is a left uppercut, six is a right uppercut, seven is a knee, eight is a front kick or a straight kick, nine is a roundhouse kick or a spin kick, and ten is any technique you want to do. Super one. Okay. So it sounds like a lot, you're like, oh, we're going to remember 10, but they do, you just train them on it consistently enough, they get it. So we start always with the first four, one is a jab, two's a cross, three's a hook, four's an overhand, or it could be a hammer if you prefer the hammer, okay? So you could use that in your numbering system. Then we get the beginners doing one at a time, one is a jab, two's a cross, isolated in the mud uh, then we get them doing two at a time, one, two, three, four. And we start building up into threes, one, two, three. And then one, two, three, four. Once we've got that, then they start adding in fives and sixes, which is uppercuts. Seven is a knee or a switch knee. Eight is any straight kick, a front kick or a side kick. Uh, nine is a round nose kick or a spin kick, if you spin kick. And then ten will be any technique you like. Small, uh, be superwoman, superman. Superwoman? Superwoman. Yeah, superman. Superman. whatever you like. So, let's run through it and just we'll do one to ten and then we'll build it up and you'll get it. I'll shout them out. You do one is jab, two is cross, three is right, not very it. good. Three is a hook, four is an overhand, or if you guys want a hammer, hammer. Five is a left uppercut, six is a right uppercut, seven is a straight kick, eight. eight is a front kick, which could be a front kick to the groin, because I know you like kicking each other in the balls. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nine would be a round kick, which could be low, could be middle, could be high, whatever works for you. And then ten is whatever technique you like, you choose, you're ten. 
So if I've got gradient come up, coming up, I'll say red boats, you do uh, your ten is an elbow. Ten. Right, so they get to the right now. Cool? I'll shout it out, you're gonna do it. Ready? Cool. Yeah. Okay. Series of two, ten, eight, three, ten, four, ten, five, ten, whatever you like. Let's just use the number. The ones that get good, they should just go like one, two, three, two. One, six, three, two. One, two, five, six. Oh. Oh. One, two, three, six, three. Ah, one, two, three. Six, three. Cool. So we're just kind of getting down pretty fast. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so those are like individual techniques. Then we go into boxing combinations, and we use the high percentage boxing combinations we discussed earlier on. So we'll run through the first four so you know them. Number one is double jab cross. Number two is jab cross hook. Number three is cross hook cross. And number four is hook cross hook. Uh, in that order, so that you don't have to change the pads much. So people don't have to like, work out where the pads go. Double jab cross is flat. Jab cross hook, I just turn it. And then it stays there. Cross hook cross. Hook cross hook. You get it, you know, when you teach yeah, beginners, yeah, you don't yeah, yeah. have to like, do like, like, so basically they turn one pad and then they've got the first four boxing covers. So they can literally stand there like that. What's number one? Jab cross. Number two? Jab cross. Rotation, 390s, keep your right hand up. Number three? Cross hook cross. And number four? Cross hook cross hook. Now, I always encourage people to keep pads within the width of their body. Because if you start going outside of your body, it affects her technique cross hook cross. So she starts overreaching. And also, if she hits it hard, my elbow's away from my body, so I'm gonna take, I've got no backup, no support behind the pad. If I keep everything in tight like this, cross across, it's all backed up on my shoulder, my bicep, tricep, shoulder, so it's all. And if you're gonna hold pads like me for 30 years, you wanna look after yourself, so don't be sloppy with your pads, keep everything in tight. Same as in Jiu Jitsu, keep your elbows in nice and tight. So, combo one, double jab cross, combo two jab cross, combo three cross cross, combo four hook cross. Off we go! So obviously, 90 degree rotation on the lead foot. 90 degree angle between the elbow and the floor, 90 degree angle between your chest and the other uh, hand. The more you twist into your cross, the more power you get on your hook. Does that make sense? So if your shoulders are square, if she does a hook from shoulders square, <coughs> do a pop hook. <laughs> she gets a certain amount of power. If she really rotates that left shoulder back, when she throws the hook, it's got more wang on it, right? Rotate. That's a meaty hook for someone who has 60 kilos. Uh, so get those three 90s. Now you want to check recovery because I, I was at a fight a long time ago and the guy threw a hook, totally missed his opponent and span in a circle. Uh, everyone went, Way! <laughs> no one ever seen that before. That's awful. That's a really bad recovery, right? So when you're doing the hook, at any point, you know, move the pad out of the way and see if they do that. If they fall over, they haven't recovered. You don't want to do that with straight punches. If she does that on the cross and I move out of the way, what's going to happen? Shoulder, yeah. pop her elbow, pop her shoulder, right? But on the hook, it doesn't really matter. So one, two. <laughs> so it's recovery. Only throw your hook to your opposite shoulder. It goes to the opposite shoulder where it was and then back. It doesn't go past that because you lose your position. One, two. Hook. She's pulling it now. Yeah. Ready, off we go. Jab, cross, and hook. Very interesting. Four different ranges for the hook. The close range hook is if uh, Liam and I were sparring and I'm kind of in front of him here, he's going to kind of snap his head back a little bit, pop his elbow up, and hook. <laughs> yeah, so that's a close range hook. You're in close, snap your head back, and then hook. Mid range hook is the one you've just done. A long range hook is where you're just trying to catch someone on the end of their punch. You kind of turn your thumb downwards towards the floor and you hit with the knuckles like that. Because if you try and do it this way, you can see I'm going to hit with those knuckles which are going to break. So if I still turn it down, I get to hit with the big knuckles, especially to the temple. That's a good one. Thumb to the floor. And arm slightly bent because you don't want to hyperextend your elbow. Yeah, no, that's a long hook. And then you've got a leaping hook. So he can't hit me with his hooks now. But if he takes a little step to his left, turns his right shoulder down towards his left knee, keeps his eyes on me, and then jumps forward, that's a leaping hook. Easy peasy. <laughs> so short range hook, you put the pad on your partner's forehead, they move their head back to make room, and then just pop the elbow up and over. Mid range hook, you just covered. 390 degree angle. Long range hook, kind of lean backwards. So you typically do this if I was thrown across towards the end and his shoulder rolls and lean backwards. Yeah, that's how it's going to happen. So it's a backwards lean, thumb goes down, and you bring your shoulder up still. 
You're going to hurt your elbow or shoulder if your arm is straight, because it's going to hypotense. So keep your arms slightly bent so it doesn't hurt. Do that one light until you get comfortable with it. It does feel a little bit weird. Heart moves back again, so there's no uh, hooks to be done. That's even out kicking range at this distance, right? So then he slides his left foot out a little bit, takes him offline, in case he's going to throw something. Right shoulder dips towards left knee and the hands are up. That creates torque in your body, ready to unload the torque. Now what you don't want to do is jump up in the air like this. <laughs> okay, you want to slide and glide your feet along the mat. So your feet almost in contact, and you jump into range. Okay? Land in your stance, left leg in front of the right hand up and down, ready to move your head again. So first hook, short range, mid range, long, leaping. Four. Okay, ready, off you go with your partner, all four. Okay, so you got your hands up, you're in stance, you're moving your head a little bit, you should be. Your left foot's gonna slide out, maybe six to 12 inches. You dip your right shoulder down towards that left foot. So now you create a bit of torque in your body, but your eyes are still looking forward. Now, kind of maintaining contact with your feet on the floor, you're gonna jump. This foot's gonna jump around, and you're gonna land. In your normal stance. Yes, that's good. Let's do it again. So head's moving a little bit. You step your left foot out, you bend your knees. Jump forward, right hand up, because that's how you're gonna get counted on the way. Elbow up, chin down, and again. Head moving, get off line, dip, jump in. This is great for shorter fighters versus taller fighters, because you kind of disappear. So if I'm tall and Liam throws out a jab and makes me blink, and he steps and dips, I don't even see him because I open my eyes, he's still beside me, he's hitting me with a hook. So if you're short with your partner, it's a really good jab, and then dip, a uh, jab and dip. I'm oh, sorry, yeah. Jab, dip, and then jump in. Bam. Okay, get to land to the side of your hand. Off you go, trial or four. Thank you. Thank you. Up short. So, obviously, a, a, a balanced, stable stance to start with. You want to add the metronome in if you can, which is this little sort of side to side head movement, because it just makes you less easy to hit. You're just right in the middle, they know where you're headed. So, uh, literally side to side. You don't want to go forward, that's slipping. Metronome is like you're sandwiched between two panes of glass, and you just tick tock in your head to, to the side like that with your hand back. So, get that going. Bit so then as he goes with his jab, check his shoulders up, cross, <laughs> check his shoulders up, one, two, check his guard, guard is up, good, I might uh, terminate him to make sure he's still moving his feet, goes back to the metronome, might give him a close range hook, medium range hook, long range hook, leaping left hook, good, and check his hands up, might give him, encourage him to move his head by tapping him on the head, then let's get into Hook defense, one, two, cover, hook, cross, hook, one, two, cover, cross, hook, cross, one, what's next? Check your memories. <laughs> oh. No! Oh. No! Oh, oh snap back. back. There you go. A million points to live. <laughs> Jab, cross, snap back, cross, hook, cross, then ducking. Jab, cross, duck, and then your leg, hook, and then fold and weave. Underneath. Sorry, I'll be yeah, yeah. Do the advanced one, sir. Jab, cross, roll, cross, and then back to the beginning. So, jabs, crosses, jab, crosses, move your head, get the flank, uh, terminate and draw, <laughs> get out of the way of them. Then, uh, add in your different ranges of hooks, short, medium, long, leaping, then get hook defense working. Cover, duck, bottom, weave, snap back. Ready, go! Have up, chin down, in your head. That's gonna give me the one, two. I'm gonna jab him back, he's gonna slip and jab at the same time. And I'm gonna hold the pad in front of my chest so you can hold that pad, okay? So this is a classic boxing kind of the jab and the jab. The only difference is Matt moves his head offline and hits me while my head's still on. So it begins, jab, cross, slip and jab, cross, across. Cross. <laughs> the rip is a double hook. Right pad goes low, left pad goes high, body head, and cross, across, roll the finish. Technicals for you guys. So it's in uh, including slipping and countering, follows up, body shot to head shot, rolling underneath bunches, and exit. Jab cross, slip and jab at the same time, cross up, cross. body head, cross up, cross, roll and exit. <laughs> roll, <right there. laughs> jab cross. I hold the hand with my chest as I jab. So that allows him to hit it, right? As my hand comes back, he throws over the top, cross. Take a little step to the side here if you want. Body head. Walk to the right hand, lower left hand high. 
on the same line. Not like this. Doesn't make sense, right? Doesn't happen. <laughs> Bad technique happens. Don't want to go this way because the bottom one's right, but the top one wangs your shoulder. So you're going to do that, but when it hurts your shoulder, you know that's wrong. Right hand, low left hand, double hook. And cross across, wrong. And then circle, and then you can carry on, be fine. So jab, cross, slip and jab, cross across, grip, cross across, hold, circle. Combination jab cross, slip and jab, roll underneath the cross, hook, spin back with, and do the Superman combination you did before. Superman left knee. Because if they snap back from the Spin back this and then come forward again. And if they've been rocked by the spin back this, they're going to move backwards. You have to chase the Superman. Jab, cross, slip and jab. <laughs> jab, cross, slip and jab. Roll underneath. Ah! Me! Oh! <laughs> it's just right on the right side. Jab, cross, slip and jab. Roll underneath. Hook, spin back this. Superman, left knee. Jab, cross. Okay, so I'm going to jab her back, she's going to move her head to the inside, she's screwed up. Stop. She's realised she's screwed up, so now she's going to... Oh, no, that's fine. <laughs> Just like that, and then cross across. Okay, so it's like it's a momentary, oh, here it comes, and you just do your best. It's not too technical, but it saves your ass. If you're kind of lined up with this cross, you've got to get to the other side quick before that. Yeah, exactly. And if, don't hit, don't knock me out, because it's a very good one. If I reach and she rolls, bang, that was inside it. So, put a drill. One, two. She goes to the inside. She's screwed up. She rolls underneath. I cover that. Cross the cross. You have to cover it. I'm going to keep the hook to the head. One, two. So to the inside. Roll. Good. You got it? One, two. One, two. She's got the inside. She's screwed up. She goes underneath. As soon as she realizes she's screwed up, I keep this hand up so she can hit it and then cross the cross. One more time. Super fast. <laughs> this again. Stop first, then hook. That's better. Because you're getting your head out of the way first, that's the priority, right? Because you're in danger. And then the hook comes afterwards, just to keep you busy. Oh, oh, oh. Sorry, I'm actually not hitting hard. No, I'm that's just... exactly. <laughs> but I don't expect to be hooked when you're here and you disappear. I don't expect that to land a lot of work to be Well, it's again when you go to this. You just, you just move your neck up from your legs, just move your neck. You're not using it. You shake. You just go, ooh. So you're doing no turtle thing, shoulders come up, chin goes down. Mm -hmm. just yeah, roll them underneath as best you can. Oh, and then keep them busy with the hook. Full speed. Okay. Off you go! Oh, very nice. There you go! Yeah. 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 Punches me in the face, I get angry. I'm not having that, I walk towards him. He needs to stop me. He needs a good way of stopping someone from marching towards his knee and straight in the body. Oh. It just slows him down, around him, because it's a bit like he needs to be moving on. One, two. I move backwards and chase him to the way. Switching front kick or switching hand kick, depending on his level flexibility. Jab cross. I move to my right. You could go left round round in theory. But it's a bit jammed up, I reckon. Side kick just works better. Then jab cross. I move it this way or spin kick. Yeah, round 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 Talk me through. That's a good start. <laughs> so I like to make that pushing front kick so using the ball of this foot from both hands on my stomach and I turn my chest to the sideways. If you have chest to the Because don't be standing like that. You can push it in that way. Okay. Thanks. Or yeah, chasing the angle if you have that. I clean, cleanly move towards my right hand. That's it. Give me a nice side kick. That could be to the leg. Also, the bend is the leg shot. And then, that happens. I move towards my left. Both times go to the left. Doesn't matter. Or I go to my leg. Now, or go to the left. Off you go. There you go. Jack goes up, shoulder roll. When he's leaning like that, that's what I've done. Oh, 
So you've got to be super careful with this one. You can go like this if you want, and then hit the outside edge of the pad as long as it's got the control jack. Control roll here. You can go like this and use your jab and put the hook kick here, but then he's tempted to whack you a little bit too much and you get the kind of poop in the side of the your partner's got that control. If you don't have the flexibility for that, a hook kick to the leg is also very effective. Sorry. Yeah. With the heel into the thigh, it works really good. So you go jab cross hook, shoulder roll, and hook kick to the leg. Okay? Makes sense? Yes, sir. Or if you have the flexibility to have cross hook, hook kick the head. Last one, dangerous. Morning. <laughs> <laughs> jab cross hook, shoulder roll, spinning hook kick. Okay? You just kind of get caught because the more I reach to try and get his head, the more I'm going to commit, the harder it is to pull my head out of the way that's going to be going to flatten me inside of the other one to sleep. So one more time. First one is the hook kick on this side. Jab cross hook, shoulder roll, hook kick, and then jab cross hook, spin the head. So just so you can practice those kind of techniques with your partner, one partner's going to kind of be a punch bag, and your partner's going to hit them with stuff. So what did we start with? What was the first technique? Other than jab cross, which you know. That's a Italian, so down on the five. So we're going down at this second one. Lead leg, third one. Really leg. And then what do we do? Fuerte. Fuerte. Or multiples. Then next. Reverse. Oh, sorry. Front up. So the left present kick, and then you can follow up. Reverse is the foot kick, and then you can follow up. And what do we do? Defense against the nine okay. So let's go maybe three techniques or three techniques. So I go like one, two, three. You can go three. It can be punches or kicks, whatever you whatever you prefer, whatever works for you. Just nice and light, just playing the game of uh, learning how to develop a bit of dexterity in your leg, balance, flexibility, etc. Right? So nice and slow. One, two, three. Any three techniques? Here we go. So she's trying to get her hands around my waist, pull my hips in, to either dump me, trip me, or spin my back. I want to avoid that, so my left arm hits her neck hard. Arm, okay, frame, get your hand on the wrist. Obviously you go over right here and wrench that. You go back to the same arm, and then shoot in. But we're going to use it for guillotine. So boom, this hand shoots over her head, and then I wrap, take the... Take the guillotine. Now that could be a crank or it could just be like a submission. I want to turn my groin sideways. You want to stand like this, right? So sideways. Sometimes the head pops out. If the head pops out, you lift the head up with your forearm, change levels, belly in the stomach, hold both, and you get Japanese on the way. So she's going to grab me around the waist. I'm going to stop her on the neck, stop her uh, on the wrist. Could go come over right here, straight to that, and then just run her down. Quite a lot on the shoulder though, so that one if you get strong shoulder. She moves in, I fray. I'm going to shoot my left arm across the neck, pointing it over the shoulder, bang, and then wrap it. That could be a crank or a choke. She's going to put her hands in my hips, make space, push, and her head's going to pop out. I'm going to forearm her head up into the air, hide behind it, put your head on her belly, drive. Okay? Want to see it again? Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so how can I count this? <laughs> <It's all> right. <laughs> uh, if she jabs me, some people might use this body lock as an entry. They slip the jab, kind of like we do with a sector two, but this left hand shoots here. And then they get the body lock, and then they're going to trip them down, or match you, or spin the back. <laughs> so she's trying to do that on me. <laughs> left arm. Remember, this is a shot on the neck. I'm not dabbing, I'm just going. Yeah, yeah. Bam, hard. I'm trying to, like, just make a pause of it. You can shoot this left arm straight to your wrist, step behind them, and then take the camera all the way down to the ground. Or, up, shoot this arm over her head. Wrap this. This can be a face crank or a guillotine. I haven't got it because she's got a guard up, which is good. So I haven't got it, and she's starting to escape her head. I don't want to break range and headbutt me, or punch me over the top. So I do this. Frame! <laughs> they push this back. Change levels. Head in the belly, pull on the back of the knee, walk forward. Try and put the feet on the ground so you can't kick.
and then it's passed out. So we're in this 50-50. I'm going to step back my right leg. I'm going to pull on her elbow and make a step towards me. As soon as she does, or does, does, I level change, grab her leg, and then pick it up. So you've got an inside sweep you can do here. You drop them down, knees together, so you don't get back swept. If your legs are wide like this, she puts her feet on my hips and back to it. Too. Right. So if I get to this position, I clamp my knees down. It's harder for her to back to it. She doesn't have enough force in any punch or past her legs. So we go from the 50-50. I'm going to move a couple of steps. I'm going to step my right leg back and make a step towards me. Change my level, pick it up. You have a couple of sweeps you can do here. I can inside hook. I can bump her. Or I can turk this leg, that's called a turk in wrestling, where this leg is up like this, bring my knee up and I pick it up. She's too flexible. <laughs> Most people are falling over by now, but then I just rotate and go down. So into the 50 50, because we're both even 50 50. Of course, all the time I'll be kneeing, I'll be kneeing, I'll be shoulder bumping, I'll be punching, head butting, biting, whatever I like. Hold with the right leg and semi circle step back to bring the left leg closer to you. Change levels, pick it up to your right. Leg and then you have choices. You can inside sweep, control the descent of the throat, you can bump and lift, or you can turn and then rotate. I need to turn. <laughs> <laughs> Don't turn and make it flex to the Ready? One, one, two, two kicks. He pulls his leg out, I go after him, and then I get side kick, or I get the same leg. So you can put your left down and back it on. Right. One, two. Catch. Foot goes down, bang. Ooh. Second one, if it's a bit tighter and you can, pull your foot out easy. Some of you are getting caught in t-shirts and stuff. Turn your foot back the other way so you, and put your foot on the hip. Now push. And you just pull your way out. So he's caught hold of my foot. So I can't twist it out so I turn it back up, put it on his hip and just front kick him off. It has to go on his hip because you need to make like a solid contact with the skeleton to move it to get out. One, two, he kicks. I catch. He tries the first one, but it's not going. Turn it the other way. Foot. Push. Do it fast, so it's like one, two, push. Turn one way, stop, push, there you go, Superman. Right? <laughs> As I know you love a Superman. <laughs> so why not? Uh, do you want to see it again? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. Jab cross, push, kicks me in the body, what's the first thing I do? Step, Step away from the force, wrap it. It's a bit tighter this time around his ankle. Can't pull it out so easily, so he turns his foot the other way and then pushes on the hip. Your toes don't want to be straight, they want to be turned out to the side, so your heel rests on my hip bone, like that, and then that makes it easy to shove. Get them. Off you go! Jab cross to the head, hook to the body, hook to the body, up to the head, hook to the head, hook to the head, liver, spleen, jab cross to the face, left swing, right swing, left over, hand, right up and up, right over, hand, left up, hammer, 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 spin back, face, superwoman, power jab. That's the 25. Wow. Yeah. Off you go. <laughs> Let's do the first eight. So, jab cross to the head, bend your knees, left up to the body, right up to the body. See the twist on the hips, left up to the body, right up to the body, left uppercut, right uppercut, left up to the head, right up to the head. That's the first eight. I'll shout it out as we do it. Jab cross, left up to the body, right up to the body, uppercut, uppercut, left up to the head, right up to the head. Alternating hands every time. Left, right, left, right, left, right. Again. Well done. I'm going to sleep well tonight. <laughs> I want to have a beer. Okay, straight to your head, straight away. <laughs> so we covered uh, the four R's to start with. What's the first R? Range. Correct range then. Good rotation then. Good retraction then. Recovery. Recovery tends to apply more to uh, kicks. So range, rotation, retraction, recovery. A lot of people when they kick their feet go to strange places. Too wide, too narrow crossed over, off balance. So it's always back to the same stance to start with. Then we start with a sector. So one, two, sector one. One, two, sector two. One, two, sector three. One, two, sector four. Or snap back to sector four. Then we get the elbow sectors. One, two, right elbow. Foot, cross, foot. One, two, dip down, upward elbow. Cross, foot, cross. One, two, scoop, elbow. <laughs> And one, two, slip, don't hit me with the elbow spin. <laughs> okay. Then we add it on the rips of those. So on the sector, sector one, cross over, cross rip. Same with two, you can do the same with three and the same with four. 
Uh, what did we do after that? We did a roll after that. So one, two, split, follow up, cross up, cross, and then roll half feet, cross up, cross, and then the rip. Cross, cross, cross. And we did um, possible endings to your combination. So when you finish with a cross up, cross, you could go with a triple jab as you exit your boxer. You could go with a switch round ice kick if you're a Muay Thai practitioner. You can go with a double flick kick if you're a hip boxer. Should we try the head inside single? Yes. Yeah. 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 If you're an MMA person, head inside single. Kind of? No. I'll train them. Okay, uh, then what did we do? I can't remember what was after that. Well, we're going to fake, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. Fake one, fake the jab to the body, jab high, cross up, cross. Fake number two, fake the jab high, strike, fake the jab high, cross low. Cross up, fake number three, jab to hook. Cross up, cross. And fake number four, jab Which to the hand, standard, basic. Boxing face. And kicking face. Michael Jackson. Cross over cross. Question mark. And we only did two, didn't we? Michael Jackson with a Superman follow up if they move you backwards. And a left kick. And the cross over cross. Okay, then we did variations on the Superman woman punch. Superman standard. Superman right hook. Superman uppercut to cross. And Superman angled. Wait, hang on. I'm too far. <laughs> Ooh, nice. Anything else? Not bad for three hours, quite a lot of stuff there. Uh, 